Oh, listen, we, we operate oftentimes in the realm of hyperbole, to, you know, but in this case, is this truly one of the best weeks you've seen for a leader in this country? Well, good morning. And look, this was a great week for President Trump. Uh, not only uh, has he dominated in terms of delivering for the American people the promises that he made, promises made, promises kept. Frankly, that started the week in, in Iowa. I was able to go to Iowa uh, on behalf of the president and, and the rest of his team. Uh, and look, the, the people there were excited about what the president's done to deliver for them. Uh, the Democrats showed on the other side they can't uh, even learn how to count, let alone manage the economy or or take over your health care. So I think that was a great contrast. His State of the Union speech, I thought, was another uh, right out of the ballpark, just really touching on all the great themes about what makes America great, uh, what he's done to to fight for those forgotten men and women mm -hmm. and deliver results for hardworking families, contrasted with Speaker Pelosi becoming unhinged, uh, literally, uh, there. And then, of course, like you said, a great jobs report, another plus 200,000 plus jobs created, uh, great economic numbers, best in generations, lowest unemployment amongst so many different demographic groups, best in the history of the country mm -hmm. uh, for them. Uh, and then you look, you know, killing another terrorist. While you've got on the Democrat stage literally every candidate for president on the Democrat side saying they would not have killed a bloody terrorist who took out hundreds of servicemen and women. I mean, what are you doing when you can't kill a terrorist who not only killed hundreds of men and women in uniform, but was in Iraq literally that day plotting to kill more yeah. Americans, and they wouldn't do that. So great contrast, great week for the president. Yeah, in a normal week, the killing, killing of the leader of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula would be the headline. It's almost been an afterthought in this entire week. Uh, when Democrats look at this, the approval rating for the president has gone up from 39% to 49% according to Gallup during this process. Have they learned, will they learn, that the American people don't want resistance? There's an election coming up. Can they turn the page and run on ideas? You know, clearly, Democrats don't get it. You know, you, you see, again, they, they're doubling down on that. The, the debate last night, uh, you know, where, where they're literally applauding, uh, applauding failure and, and standing up for terrorists, saying they would not kill a terrorist. Uh, what else do you need? What other evidence do you need? Soleimani, everybody knew, uh, was one of the bloodiest terrorists uh, since Osama bin Laden. Uh, and uh, mm -hmm. look, we applauded Obama when he took out bin Laden. They can't applaud Trump for anything good that happens. And, and families are watching this. They're saying, wait, I'm more successful. I've got more money in my paycheck yes. because President Trump's delivered. And that success of hardworking families is what they decry the most. Absolutely. Representative, you also got a shout out when the president was celebrating. He said, you're a warrior, fantastic, and also more handsome now. Uh, so congratulations <laughs> on, on looking better than ever. <laughs> Uh, Representative Steve Scalise, thanks for joining us on this Saturday. We appreciate it. Good stuff. <laughs> thanks a lot. Great being back you with got you. It.